his shadow has stretch marks. Who's that little guy following him? Is that his toe? Who is that kid? Hey, somebody's kids in the ring. What the hell is that thing on his back? What is that thing? I believe that is the wife. I think he, I think he's got a third testicle. It could be a third testicle, maybe a fourth dimple, maybe another eye. What are they doing here? What's going on? Who is that little guy behind him? Now you listen here, boy. I brought reinforcements. The Mays are going to have their tag match for time. First off, the smoke has never seen the biggest bunch of tits in one ring at one time. What did he just say? Can he say that? Who's that little shit? Is that Davey May? Well, the smoke may have somebody just as crazy for you. Tonight, you're gonna go up against Crazy Incorporated. You know what? Ty, we. Wait a minute, everybody's coming out here now. Who is now? Who's out here, Garjula? What's going on? Is this schedule? Here comes Ty Weed. Oh, no. And she looks angry. She does not look happy, Garjula. She's usually a very happy girl. This She's usually stoked. Stole my stash. Her stash? We could have DEA in the building. Me, I want my match. I got psycho watching my shit back there right now. I know we're gonna fuck with that bitch. Go show, why don't you give her a weed back? No, everybody's coming out. Who's next, Goldberg? Give her her stuff back, will you? And here comes Lady Storm and Amanda Storm. Go show, why are your eyes all red? What are you insinuating? Uh, I think you got Ty stuff. Enough. Oh, Lady Storm up. and Amanda Storm in there. Oh, little Davey Mays attacking Amanda. Oh, what a crock shot! From Lady, Lady Storm right behind him. Run, you pussies. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Run like the pussy what that the? you are. What do we need to what be here for? She, holy shit. She Every, just put Davey May through a table. Everybody out of the pool. Somebody throw him a life preserver. Who is this? A, what is that thing in the ring? What is that? Gosh, Amanda you know? Storm, Lady Storm. Of course, what are we doing here? Ty Weed's doing commentary. Who is this Amanda Storm? Ty Weed has been laid out. That's a guy. Hey, gosh, that's a guy. Lady Storm. Was this all part of Smoke's plan? Now what the hell's going on? Oh, shit. Here comes the psycho bitch. Oh, what the hell is that thing? That's the psycho bitch, the other half of oh, Crazy Incorporated. She's got a flies off a shit wagon, girl. She look at that thing. She's a maniac. I'll tell you, that chair could use a new paint job. Looks like your mother-in-law, Jeff. Excuse me. How do you know my mother-in-law? Ty Weed is laid out. We have problems here in the middle of the ring here uh, tonight at WEW. What a way to start things off. I'll tell you, Ty's in a pretty good position right there, baby. Hey, thank God we have a head nurse here. Uh-oh, here she comes, gonna revitalize her. Head nurse Mimi coming to take the vitals. And now we're gonna see her uh, qualifications here in action, Gojua. Well, she was about to toss up salad. She's hot. Wait a oh, minute, yes. excuse me. Yes. Now this is what I'm talking about, Gojua. This is what we need here. I think I'm having heart problems. Oh, this is hot. I think I need CPR. I think I'm starting to feel movement. Hey, stay in your chair. I think I'm getting a rise in my Levi's, Gojua. What an announcement from Commissioner Smoke. The scheduled matchup between the May sisters and, of course, Ty and Psycho Bitch is not going to happen. It is now rescheduled for Ty and Psycho Bitch against Amanda Storm and Lady Storm. And why is it going to happen, Gorgelo? You had to go ahead and knock up Me. one of the May. Yes, you knocked up one of the Mays, and the other one's pregnant. You probably did her, too. Dawn May is hurt. I mean, who, who are they going to work tonight? Well, now they are going to work Amanda Storm and Lady Storm, two girls who claim to be fraternal twins, Jeffrey Frater J. James. No way. Come on. What happened? Were they separated at birth or something? Absolutely. Raised by two different families. Raised by who? What was Amanda Storm raised by? Like neo-Nazis? Wolves? Possibly. And what about Lady Storm? Who, who was she raised by? Who knows who raised Lady Storm? She may have been raised in a military family. Maybe the Black Panthers. I don't, I don't know about that, Koshula. Are you sure? 
Well, I'm not sure about anything as far as WEW goes, but coming up next, something I am sure about is a hardcore bra and panties matchup. It's going to be Tara, and it's going to be Candy. Hardcore bra and panties. Jeffrey, you got to love that. I want to see, you know what, I want to see bra and panties. You're going to see it. And why is, wait, why is it hardcore? What, what, uh, they allowed the, you know, is there such thing as a hardcore bra and panty? It's WEW. Anything can happen. Take it up to the ring now. A hardcore broad panties match, Tara and Candy. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, please welcome, coming to the ring at this time, one half of your refereeing team this evening. She is BJ! Oh, gosh, look at this thing. Who is that? That's BJ. BJ? BJ. What, uh, what does that stand for, Gorgio? Barbara Jones, I'm sure. Oh, come on, you know what that means. That's BJ, our referee here tonight at WEW. Just one of two. And what a match this is going to be coming up. A bra and panties match. Bra and panties? What is that all about? We're about to find out. Dressed to go out clubbing tonight, Jeff. Yeah, she looks pretty hot, man. She got pretty nice. Turn off the music! She's a little bitchy. You pathetic perverts out here. That's right. Think you're gonna see me? Yes. She's talking to you, Jeff. Yeah, I know. I want to see her. Hey, Fatso, put your dollar bill away. She's pointing at you, Garjula. Absolutely not. Like I was saying, you pathetic perverts out here. Think you're gonna see me in my brown panties? I think this is her time of the month or something, Jeff. She's got some pretty big hammer. You'll never, ever, ever see it. There's plenty of other little whores here tonight to show you their stuff. What is she saying about our fellow competitors here? She's just calm like she sees them, Garjula. And have you ever seen a wrestler chewing gum in the ring, Garjula? Oh, I've never seen a wrestler come out quite dressed like her. Candy and Tara are legendary, all up and down the East Coast, brought to pay-per-view for the first time ever at our last WWE pay-per-view, where Tara was victorious. She's got confetti! Confetti! Hey, look, I'm sure. You want some candy? Absolutely not. Confetti to the eyes! That's it. Oh, good right hand there from Tara, taking the early advantage here. Absolutely, Jeff. You and I, we've seen Candy and Tara wrestle on many occasions. What can you tell the fans watching at home about these two? <laughs> Got nice tits. Anything else there? <laughs> nice Ryan. ass, nice ass. Also, look at that. That's a great shot by the cameraman right there. Gordon Soli couldn't have said it better himself. I think she should take her clothes off right now. And of course, this match will only end once an opponent is stripped down to her bra and panties. Who's that freak in the front row with the bleach blonde hair? I'll tell you what, I don't really care who wins this match, because well, I'll, I'll take either one of these two in their bra and panties. Into that unforgiving guardrail. Those guardrails got to weigh about 75 pounds a piece. They got to get more shots of BJ. I'm sure there's a lot of men in this crowd that probably told their wives they were leaving for a slice of bread and some milk. Not going to return home for about three hours. Yeah, they can explain that one for the missus. They better come inside with some bread and milk. That's for sure. And of course, Tara has been in control. Tara, the obvious aggressor, coming out here with all of these weapons while Candy, See? on the other hand, decided to She's a out. domestic woman. Look at it. She brought her own little cookie sheet with her, Garjula. Oh, I'm sure she's going to bake some cookies. Oh, what already. a nice girl this one is. And of course, you got to watch out if you're a Tara for that C factor for Candy. Oh. Candy now. Oh, a close line. What a close line. She even did that on one knee. What else do you think she could do on one knee, uh, Jeff? She's used to being on her knees, Garjula. You know that. One knee. She had that spray can in her hand. What the fuck was that? That was an old style Greco-Roman Olympic takedown. A, a what? Only the classics could do that. I haven't seen that out of the, I haven't seen that in the ring since the days of Luthez and Carl Gotch. Who? And Candy now all over town. Oh, a snap beautiful snapping. The hair, man. Grabbed him by the hair, Garjula. 
Come on, Jeff, pick me a winner here between these two. I don't care who wins. I want to see either one of them half naked. You're going to see one of them in a bra and panties. Oh, she's going for the top, Gorgio. I thought it was going to be off. And it's going to take more than just the top. The tops and the bottoms have to come off, Jeff. I might be getting off pretty soon, Gorgio. All right, enough already. We have put that tissue box down, Jeff. I warned you. I might have to go at any time because, you know, I might have to go rip one out. I told you that. I haven't brought my bottle of lotion right. here with me. And of course, Tara, a 1992 uh -oh. T-ball champion in the city of Baltimore. Another great Greco Roman takedown by Candy. Did you say that on her bio, Garjolo? Well, not necessarily. That's it, take it off. There it is, Gojo! And will you get your hand off me? I'm getting excited. And Tara, not the smartest girl in the world wearing a zipper top. I want to see titties, Gojo, titties! Will you stop touching me? And now Tara has retreated to the outside of the outside of the ring, and that may be the smartest move she can make. <laughs> Look at these guys at the table watch. Look at a bunch of sick. They're not bad. It's like they paid extra for a couch dance. Look at that, look at that goof with the glasses. Who is that? Take your choice, either one of them. Who's that guy with what the bad hair piece at ringside? I don't know, who does his hair? Stevie Wonder? I don't know. Maybe he's got that spray can stuff. The <laughs> goof ray. What's that? It's great. And of course, there's a trash can full of weapons out there. I would imagine anything goes in a broad panties match. And we know two things that are going to go. It's going to be somebody's broad yeah, panties. Right. I don't think there's any rules here. I don't even think you need a ref. And Candy, of course. Oh, <laughs> what a shot to the back with that wiffle ball. There that's, it is. That's Pick on the bottoms. And oh. Tara, what an offense there, using the old style eye rake. Big boot to the side. BJ not doing much to keep order. There's no rules, is there? I guess not. Now she's choking her on that bottom rope. I would imagine if she was to choke out Candy, she could just rip the clothes right off her. Well, she's into the choking thing, her funny asphyxiation. What? Did you read that in her bio, too? I happen to know that on a personal note. Where did you see that bio? I didn't see it, I just know. Look at that leg drop, right to the ribs. When's the last time you saw a leg drop to the ribs? I think it was a little low in the ribs. I think she might have hurt her uterus there. Her you know. uterus? It might be tilted. What about the ovaries? Here comes another top. Here it is. We're going to see it. We're going to see Candy topless. No. Oh. And again, it takes Tara off her feet, like an old-style cat fight, the kind you used to see in the cafeteria at school. Not in my school, we didn't. It's because you went to an all-boys school. And now Tara. It's going to be a side slam. Side oh. slam. That's it. Take your top off. And why is it that everybody in this company has tattoos all over their body? That's some kind of a branding. And that top of candy looks like it's ready to come off, Jeff. Uh-oh, comes the cookie sheet again, Gorgia. Tower oh, right to the back. Man, you can feel that from here. Oh, again, Gorgia. Those are some hard-hitting shots. Oh, third time. What a shot. The third could be the charm, Jeff. As all Tara needs to do is disable Candy, get her into unconsciousness, and then she can rip off her clothes as she pleases. What's she doing over here? Oh my God! Right on the implant. She's gonna pop one out. You're gonna have a silicone flood in the ring. You think they're natural, Candy? Oh yeah. Oh, what the hell? Cops, handcuffs, Gorgio. When'd she get that out of your bag? What? What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, we know. I do not bring those kind of things with me to the ring, to the, to the building, to do commentary. What are you talking about? And now she's got the handcuffs. I thought she only saved this for first dates. <laughs> oh, what a need of stuffing. And again, That's it, she's handcuffed in the ring. She's helpless, Gorgio. Tara has been the aggressor for the majority of the oh. match. She brought the weapons, the handcuffs. Well, Tara does seem the more prepared one out of these two. Tara's got something else now. What is that she has? Right? I have no idea. What is that? Are they the keys? Maybe, yeah, maybe it is. Oh! Big breast edge chop. You like that? Yeah, we like that. Ta oh, there it is again! Tara doing color commentary on her match here tonight. W oh! Oh, oh, there it goes! Yes. It's wow. all. They're nice. Look at that. Is that an aluminum foil bra? <laughs> <laughs> Look at her. She handcuffed her. She can't even get the shirt off. I like it. I like my chest tan, not red there, Gorgio. Look at that big red mark on her. And she drives the shoulder right into oh. the big boot. But what's she gonna do? She's handcuffed in a corner. She's helpless. Look at BJ looking at the key. Hey, hey. That, that bitch, she's cheating. The ref should get her out of there. She's the referee. It may take BJ an hour to figure out how to use the key. What are you trying to say? She's not too smart? I'm not trying to say anything. She's great to look at, though. Absolutely. Tara now. Oh, that's it. Can't fight Gorgio. I mean, she's take off BJ's that? top. Holy shit! Down goes BJ! She just nailed BJ with that train! We don't have a referee here! 
I wish I, I applied for that referee's license, but I still haven't gotten it yet. Oh! Oh! Big atomic drop. What oh, is that? skirt. What kind of panties are those? Yeah, those are panties, are they? What is that? It's like biker shorts. I think that's it, though. I think we have a winner, but we have no ref. And I believe it's going to drop oh. someone across the knee. You would have to think that Tara is oh. in her broad panties. If we had a referee here, this match would be over. Yeah, I think we have a winner, but we have no ref. BJ's still out. Remember, Tara's already 1-0 against Candy on WWE pay-per-views. No. Yes. Me you're both. naked. What is she? What the fuck is she doing? She's no. that skirt back that on. That bitch. How could she put her? Don't let her do that, She's Garcia. a tease. Jeff, she's a tease. That's not right, Garcia. Man, she's smart, but it's not right. She can't do that. It might be smart, but it's really not fair. And Candy now looks back oh. at... Oh. She was outsmarted. Candy now setting off. Oh! Rock Candy! Candy bottom. Rock Candy, man, that's it! She's gonna pull him up! She's wearing a thong under there, Garcia! That's a thong! Oh my god, look at that! That's a thong! Is this match over now? That's it! That's it! What an ass, Garcia! After all that, Tara still winds up losing the match. I think she's got something caught between her cheeks. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of the Bra Panties match, Candy! Candy evens up the score one to one here. Wait a minute, Jeff. Well, she's got it. I think this is the after party. I think they're coming off. Hold on, Garcia. Big oh. chair to the back. Tara just deprived us that all of the yeah. Candy's thumb. That bitch. BJ and Candy going over things. I think we need Nurse Phoebe again. You think she was really going to show? You think she was just, you know, doing that to tease the crowd? I think she was going to show. Damn. Ah, is going to have a heart attack in there the way he's, the way he's announcing the show. Oh, 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 guys, oh, oh, what are you doing? It's, it's Horshack. I was a big fan of the show. Horshack. Welcome back. Yeah, he's doing the ring announcements. He looks like the bird, man. Look at his face. He looks like a bird. Welcome back. God, it was big. That was one of my favorite TV shows, Gojo. I do not want to see Amanda Storm on yeah, her knees. What? Why is Amanda, why are the Storms out here? Are they supposed to be out here for this match? Well, this match actually scheduled to be Ty and Psycho Bitch against the May Sisters. But of course, Dawn has a broken arm. We have Ellie and Daisy who are pregnant. That match obviously not going to happen. So tonight, it will be the Storms, Lady Storm and Amanda Storm taking on Crazy Incorporated Ty and Psycho Bitch. I tell you what, WW is really stupid. How could you take Bob Backlund, dress him out here in drag and call him Amanda Bob Storm? Back with a drag. Are you kidding me? That's not a You know that's not a woman, Garcia. Look at that thing. I don't I, think know, that's a woman or a man. I think, ain't that the singer of Iron Maiden? The Iron Maiden singer. Does she, I don't know. I think she's got eyes for D'Angelo. So maybe D'Angelo has eyes for her. How'd you like to take that home, Garjula? Who, her or D'Angelo? <laughs> either, either one's about the same. What is she doing? I'm she's a, grabbing, she's match grabbing match her down. I'll tell you, she's a guy. Eyes on the smoke at ringside. <laughs> uh oh. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, weighing in at 108 pounds from Pottsville, Pennsylvania, Ty Killer Weed. Well, it looks like Ty found her weed. I think she's smoking it right now, Gorgula. Wait a minute. Is she actually smoking what I think she is smoking? I think I think she found her weed. I'm telling you, look. I mean, I don't want to say anything. I'm not going to make any accusations, but it looks to me as if she don't smoke cigarettes, Corsio. I'm telling you. I understood that. I didn't think she smoked tobacco. She told me in the back she did not smoke tobacco. But then again, would she really stomp it out if it really was a joint? Can you imagine how crazy this match is going to be? You have Ty and Psycho Bitch, two lunatics, two nuts against the bodyguard of the smoke, Lady Storm, and Amanda Storm, who is just out of her mind. Look at her. Ty's got a nice ass, Marshall. I must say, she might, be a, she might need a checkup from the neck up, but she's, she's got a nice ass. I'd like to be the referee in this match. 
fact. No fact. At time right now, her eyes are a little watery. She looks a little tired. She might not be with it right now. They talk about a strange... What? Oh! Amanda Storm all over Ty early. And Lady Storm, what kind of a tag team do you think these two are going to be? Oh. They look like an Oreo cookie out there with the smoke and Lady Storm and Amanda Storm. I'd like to dump that Oreo cookie. This crowd is not happy. That's just not right, Jeff. That is just not right at all. Yeah, to storm the winners here, of course, with an assist from the smoke. But it ain't over yet! Oh! Crazy chair shot! Another one to make the storm! The smoke's got what? They gotta get the smoke. You know he's the one that's. Uh oh, really he's in trouble here. What? He's got Psycho Bitch to answer to. Yeah. And Psycho Bitch stares him right in the eye. Ty called for a take. Oh, whoa, whoa. I don't know if smoke has anything. What kind of table is that? Is that a special table? Oh, you think you're taking this and I'll get away with it? They may have peed enough, baby, but you're the one that not going to get fucking beat. I think the smoke's going to get beat. Smoke is Unless he's wearing a cup. I don't really think he has much down with the world. You should know what I'm saying. What did you say, Rosie? Just agree with me. Oh! Again in the go-down. She's got the crutch. She got a handful of hair right there. The crutch claw. And the smoke is just out. And they're getting a the table. Here we go. This is it. Yo, Jeff, that is a fucking table. Oh. Everybody's <laughs> tripping around. What down the here. hell's going on in here? Did somebody oil up the floor around here. They're setting up a team. I'm sure they're looking to put the smoke through it. Uh-oh, she's telling Psycho Bitch to like set the table up. Now somebody should put some soap in Ty's fucking hand. Oh, you got room to talk. Kiss your mom with that mouth, Garjula. With your tongue, too. And the table. Come on, pussy. What? No respect for the community. Oh, he, he oh. just broke the table. Oh, the smoke. He smelled so bad, he broke that port. The table couldn't take it. The table just broke. That table just wanted out. The man is storm saving his ass. That's just a tough break for the smoke, Jack. Yeah, the poor table took a tough break. That's just a tough break. Wait a minute. Here comes cousin Nick. Oh, what the hell is he doing here? Another one of that damn maze. He's coming out to help the smoke. Oh. Everybody's tripping all over the place. It's like a scene out of Stock Hawk. Uh oh, here comes down. Papa. What is Papa May doing? What? Why is Nick holding the smoke in the corner? Are they working against the smoke? Uh -oh. What? Oh, no. Oh, no, Garshaw, no! Oh, She's no. not gonna! Please put the oh, sensor they stole. Oh, no! That smoke got a face full of eggs! Would you like some fruit on top of that cheese spoon? Oh, no, that's... Oh, no, not again. Oh, no! Not Dawn May, Garshaw! Oh. No! Oh, oh, God, oh, that's disgusting! <laughs> it's like rotten filth! Oh, no. Oh, it just can't. Oh, he's not gonna. What is he out. doing, Garjulo? No. He's lowering it. Put the strap back this on. This is it. Put the strap back on. No. He's got to oh, Look at that goodness. fat bastard. My goodness, Jeff. <laughs> oh, no. oh, God. Oh, no. Jeff, are you just hey, kidding? Put that crack in, crack in his ass in the smoke's face. Smoke and crack, Garjulo. Smoke and crack. I can't believe it, Jeff. They actually make underwear oh. that size. And you know he can't wipe his ass too well. You know the smoke got a face full of shit. Wipe his ass. Of course you couldn't tell. That. Oh, that was disgusting. Wow. What do we have here? <laughs> hey, yo. Are you Candy? No. Candy's over there. I'll tell you she's Candy. Sorry, girls. I eat sausage. Find a phone. Don't any of these goddamn phones work? Oh, yeah, I got a phone. 
Can I use your phone? Hi, please. Yeah, sure. It's in my pocket. I have to call my parents. Ty, you're out of minutes. Oh, shit. I can't be out of minutes already. You're out of minutes. Damn. I tell you what, Coach, you might have not the most, the most confident wrestler. We got a couple of hotties here. Well, she is absolutely confident. She is a legitimate referee. She went to the school. She school? Put in the what time, school? The school of refereeing. And she graduated with a bachelor's in it. A bachelor's you can't get a bachelor's in a fish. What are you talking about, Coach? Oh, absolutely. Oh, what, she, she's a gymnast. Too. Whoa. Look at that. I, I hope never, she don't stick to the floor. I never saw Dick Kroll do that. There she goes, dancing up the storm, having a great time here. She loves the camera. She loves to be the center of attention. I can barely talk, Garjoli. My tongue's getting hard. What? My tongue is just getting hard. Now look, that's the problem. Can All right, you? put your tongue back in your mouth, will you, I'm James? I'm trying to. Look at this dance. This is great. I feel like I'm at a go-go bar. Go ahead, Garjoli, give me a dollar. You take your own dollar out of your pocket. I'm going to tip like a buck. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, accompanied by Steve the Sound Guy. 75 pounds from Houston, Texas. She is Trinity. Accompanied by Steve the Sound. Who would come out to the ring accompanied by a sound guy? What? It's the same. What's his shirt say? Does it say sound guy? I hate hoes. What is that? Why have you ever heard of a sound guy with his own merchandise? What is that? I believe that blonde fellow took the little bus to the show tonight. And, who, and who's this wrestler? Who is this? Is it the Red Meanie? This is Tr the Red Meanie. No, that is Trinity. I'll tell you. Trinity in tremendous shape. But what? What kind of advice could Steve the Sound Guy give her? What is she going to request a song? And how is this music even playing if our Sound Guy is walking out to the ring? Well, this guy's got to wear his own merchandise to get himself over. Look at this guy. Who is this guy, Jewel? I'm a big, big fan of Valentina. I followed her career for quite some time. A personal friend of mine, may I add. She brings a tremendous sense of athleticism and skill inside of the ring with her wherever she goes, especially here tonight at WEW. Personal friend, she doesn't even know your name. Oh, Garcia. she knows my name. She should know my name. She'll be screaming it later. How dare you? What? How this dare you? I have no respect for our oh, athletes here. She's a nice looking redhead. She was trained in the dojos of the Bronx in New York City. And I happen to know for a fact, Garshaw, that the curtains match the carpet, you know what I'm saying? What are you talking about? He's a real redhead, Garshaw, that's what I'm telling you, exclusive right here. What do you here. think the dojos are like in the Bronx? Yes, Valentina getting ready to take on Trinity. This is going to be an outstanding contest, right. I'm sure. You're right, Garshaw, this ref looks legit. Look, taking the full control, checking the body for foreign objects. I'm telling you. She is certified. She just received her certification a few weeks back. Here she let it lapse a little bit. Unlike ISIS, of course. But she is now truly certified. Let's go. Let's not talk this over You're here to work. You're here to provide commentary. I'm here to charge you a ticket. This is paper. There ain't no goddamn rules. I don't want nothing. Don't give me any of your shit, boys. Really. Shut up. Valentina, I talked to her a little bit in the back. She told me she was looking forward to this opportunity to show her skills to the world, to share her skills, to share her skills as a professional wrestler. Everything that she has learned over the years, competing in this sport. Oh, just slapped her. I like to see her skills outside the ring, Rosalie. All right, enough already. Oh, slapped her again. Trinity absolutely showing no respect for Valentina. Oh, the hard drag. And Trinity hits the mat hard. See Valentina's uh, wearing the knee pads there, Gorgio. Maybe there's something a little later going on? No, maybe because she wants to protect her knees from hitting the canvas. 
Valentini, you have to watch out for those freaking kicks of her. She, got, she has some real stiff kicks with all of her weight behind her. Oh, a little yeah, classic old school, old school. Old school here, Garcia. Good style here. Valentina has quite a bit of a shooting background. Learning that as well. Oh, three hard chops for the back. Trinity must have weighed Valentina by what, 50, 60 pounds? Yeah, she's going to have to keep her on the ground. She must have a chance here. I would not expect a hammerlock at the Trinity. Valentina now in the headlock. Very classic, old school. Goes to work in the arm. Yeah, she's working the individual body parts. A very smart strategy here by Valentina. Trinity now. Picks up Valentina, went into the turnbuckle with authority. I think they're doing a lot of trash talking in there to each other. Look at him. Steve the sound guy seems preoccupied with the fans here at ringside. She's gonna get broke for uh, uh, oh, her. Right. And the there it is. You know what's coming. This is ridiculous. And Ice is there quickly to break it up. She knows what's going on. The big right and another. I think yeah. I back. think they're just playing with this match. I think Trinity can end this match at any point. They're just trying to hurt her. Oh no, man. See, I disagree, Jeff. The longer this match goes on, it is more than Valentina's favor. She's the lighter of the two. She has better cardiovascular conditioning. She knows what it takes. She's been in plenty of shoot fights as well as wrestling matches. She could sneak in there with a small package with her size or anything. I don't know. She's about to use her size right here. This looks like a high risk maneuver. Valentina up to her feet. Oh! Big blows let off oh, the top. That's all. They that's got to be, be all. Valentina not having an impressive showing tonight in her debut here at WEW. Now what the, the fuck is Sound Guy doing? Why? What's See? His agenda? They want to punish this poor girl even more. He's got. Oh, he's going to hit what her. What the fuck? What the fuck was that? What did he do? Excuse me, Steve. He just took the ukulele and crashed it over his own woman. you got to be shitting me. What is that? And look at him. Look at out to this crowd like he just did something real proud. Like I he can't believe he did that. That's bullshit, He's Jeff. bagging Valentina. That's what it is. He is not. He's got to be. Why would you do that to your own wrestler? He has no agenda here. He just wants to be on pay-per-view. He just wants to be a part of the show. He wants to get himself on TV. What a swerve. I'm telling you. Is he going to hit Valentina with that cookie sheet? No. Man, why'd they take the nurse out of there? We saw what happened last month when one of our males here got nice in his face. Steve now. He, what is he doing? What is going on here, Garshul? Why would you do that? He stopped the classic match. That was one of the greatest matches I had ever called, Joe. Well, Trinity was about to pin Valentina, and he came in and smashed no, Valentina, that. Valentina was about to come back and pin Trinity. No, I don't think so. She's about to pull one out. Valentina was in complete. She was done. No, done. No, no, you don't understand. She was going to pin it. I know her strategy. I don't, what the fuck is going on? What is going on in here? Can we get some order in the house? That tri Trinity now. Valentina goes underneath. Big kick. No. It's a gory. Oh! Well, why didn't Isis disqualify? Actually, it would be Trinity. She may knock her out with that. Oh! And Valentina knocks her out. I don't understand this whole match, Do You get this? I don't understand it. Who is the gentleman You the match. Valentina! I told you, Valentina had it all. She had it all along. She was ready to pin her. What is a, what is the sound guy's agenda here? I don't get it. Wait, he's raising Valentina's hand. What is going on, Garshaw? We need answers. Answers! I smell something fishy that sure is an ISIS. Let me tell you that, Jeff. How would you know? Wait a minute now, Ice is checking on Trinity. Valentina now making a quick exit. Whether it was luck or a deserved victory, Valentina makes one hell of a big view here tonight at WWE. I don't know, we got, we need answers, Garcia. We need answers. guy's a fat bastard. Obviously, you people from Philadelphia are a hell of a lot stupider than each and every one of you look. Listen to his speech. What did he just well, say?
think he's about to find out, Gorgiulo. He's got whoever the opponent is, he's going to have this pop of me outside the ring as well as that big thing on his back. Oh, whoa. Who is that? And who are, they, who are these two? Who, who is escorting this girl out to the ring? Who are these two guys? Gorgiulo, you got anything? Who are they? Well, I'm trying to let the ring announcer finish the introduction. He says that it's Barroom Barbie. Last month, we witnessed here on the WWE from you know, when you decided to stay home that month, War Room Barbie was abducted by these nice guys. She arrived here in the back of a car. Look at these nice guys. They think Dom Perignon's a mafia leader. Who, who, who are these guys? I don't understand the association between her and the nice guys. Obviously, there is more to it because no authorities have been called. Uh, is this a handicap match? I believe so. I, I believe Papa Bay, the, the big mole outside the ring, and now Davy Man. I think I think Davy Bay's the one at the handicap match. I think he's really in trouble here. I, I take Bar Room Barbie. He's gonna beat him. I just think he's handicapped. Look at his face. Look at him. He's, look how skinny this kid is. I see more meat on a cheese sandwich. Well, look at his top wrist lock here by Barroom Barbie. And again, one has to wonder exactly what the agenda is between the nice guys and, of course, Barroom Barbie. Did she forget to pay off some kind of a gambling debt? I don't know. I can't. I don't understand why she'd be with these guys. I, I don't understand it. She arrived in the back of a car. And these maids. What? This whole clan of these bastards, they keep popping up every, out of nowhere. Wait, where, where is Ellie and Daisy Man anyway? I think they're pr ain't they pregnant. Pregnant? Gosh, well, how could you? How could I what? You know you knocked. We have to get a DNA test. Knocked who? I think you got them both. What are you talking about? Gosh, well, you know what I'm talking about. Condoms are 96% effective, Jeff. I hope, you, I hope you put a bag over her head. Listen, Jeff, I bagged some pigs in my day, but I think I'd rather bag an actual pig than one of them. Barber Barbie now sending David oh. May in. Big shot on takedown. Are the little kids, uh. Oh no! Davy May gets set for an air ride in a hurry. And another. Oh. Barber Barbie is looking great in here tonight at WWE. That fat fuck popper. Look at that guy. Look at that uh oh, she's going on top, Gojulo. Oh, she's on top, all right. What's she gonna do? Top oh. rope suicida. Oh. She knocked the fat fuck down! I can't believe he went down! Who's gonna get him back up? <laughs> Better call it a crane. And what's gonna happen here with these nice guys around oh, the ringside? Oh, under the guardrail. What's gonna happen if these nice guys get involved? Or are the maze gonna fit in a car? They're gonna have to run a big ring, a big ring to put Papa May in the back. I bet he has to iron his overalls in the driveway, that fat bastard. I'm telling you. Oh my god, and did Davey you see May. that? Absolutely, Davy May has no respect whatsoever for women. Well, near too high. Well, would you do that to Barroom Barbie? I mean, she's so hot. Why would you do that to her? He's spanking her. He's spanking oh, her. Oh, yeah, that's great. Barroom Barbie now starting to get arrogant, starting to get cocky with Davy. Well, how do you think she got the name Barroom Barbie? I would imagine many Barroom Walls. She's been, been a lot. Like, you know, she's not averse to grabbing a beer bottle and smashing over somebody's head. Absolutely not. She's got a great ass. Is Davy May? What is he thinking? He thinks he's just gonna walk. Look at this! Look at him go, Sean! He might as well. You're having a good time oh, out here, aren't you? Chin music, Gosh! Oh, chin music! You might as well charge you a ticket for coming out here. You're having so much oh, fun. Oh! That was cheap. He goes downtown. Lord had to defend himself in the woods. You know what we've heard about those maze. Uh oh. The maze Look at this, Gosh! Oh! He just threw! On the concrete! Oh my god! Man. Holy shit, Garcia, oh, look at it! Springs over. All over for Room Barbie. She hit that floor. This little kid can go, Garzula. Now, with these nice guys at ringside, how do you think they're going to feel about their investment here? Bar Room Barbie possibly being crippled at the hands of Davey Man. I don't know. They don't look too happy at the moment. That's a jack that's a little upset. Scoops are up. The big oh. sits out with his version of the Michinoku driver. Uh oh, it looks like he's about to do something here, a little high risk. I think Papa May's getting hungry. He's picking out some earwax. Oh! He sends him off the top rope. I think he's going into convulsions. No. This little guy's got a lot of fight. I don't understand these maze. I, there's tons of them, guys. Really? What's all their story? You got the big fat Papa May. Right. You got this little shit, Davey May. Don't forget about the mole on the back of Papa May. At their testicle. Right. Wait, you got who? You got Daisy May. Where, she's pregnant, right? Right. Which 
I still say you're the father. Absolutely not. And you got Ellie. Where's, you know, Ellie's pregnant too. Yes. I mean, is there any more of it? Could there be any more of these little shits? They pop up everywhere. There could be three, four, ten more of them for all we know these about. These damn redneck. Oh! Double under underhook suplex, just like he did it back on the farm. Get He's yelling at the referee. <laughs> what is he doing? He's worried about going back and eating something. That's what it's all about. Up at the ball. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Barbie with a boot to the midsection. Oh! Barbie started to beat the shit out of this kid. And that's it. 